This is Captain Ross at 3B's Captain School, and this video is Magnetic Compass. Navigation, the art and science of directing the movements of a vessel safely, confidently, and efficiently from one location to another. This video we're going to discuss magnetic compass. We're going to state the role a magnetic compass plays in navigation. We're going to define compass error. We're going to define variation and state where to find it. To find deviation and state where to find it, state how to correct and uncorrect, solve correcting and uncorrecting problems. All right, magnetic compass. A magnetic compass is the primary tool for steering a course out of sight of land or in reduced visibility. A compass card is an arc that is divided by 360 degrees and numbered all the way around the card from 0 to 360. So if you look at my cursors at here, 360 or zero is here at north. And if you look, this thing's numbered all the way around 360 degrees. So this is a compass card. And then the lover's line is a line scribed in the compass housing to indicate the direction in which the boat's heading. So this lover's line is lined up with the bow of the boat center line. You can see it right here where my cursor's at. And whenever I turn the boat, this compass card is going to move because this north is holding right on the magnetic north. Um, so when we turn, the bow is going to change the direction or bearing that it's, that it's going. All right, <clears throat> so compass error is the angular difference between a compass course or compass bearing and its corresponding true direction. So please think about compass as being what you're going to use on your boat. You're going to look at your compass. And true is what we're going to use when we put bearings on our chart. So there's two components of compass error. So variation is the angular difference measured in degrees between true and magnetic. It's written in degrees in either an easterly or westerly direction. Three degrees west is basically three degrees in a westerly variation. Variation is dependent upon where you're at on the Earth's surface because it's actually the angular difference between true north and true north is if you took the Earth and dropped a dot on the exact top of the north of the Earth. If you took a point and dropped it on the exact top of the Earth and the magnetic north is where the a compass actually points and it's a little bit offset from true. They use true because the actual magnetic north changes annually um, and you need a set point to draw the charts from. So the charts are all drawn from true and your compass is actually going to point to a little bit off from true a magnetic north and that angular difference is where we get variation. So deviation is the second component of compass error. And it's the amount of deflection influenced by a vessel and its electronics on the compass. So this is written in degrees in either easterly or westerly direction. It varies with the boat's heading. So whereas variation varies with your location on the earth, deviation varies with the heading of your boat. It's normally displayed in a deviation table in 15 degree increments. Um, and for ordinary navigation, use the deviation value that is closest to the vessel's heading in either magnetic or compass. All right, so let's go over these a little bit. In order to determine an accurate compass course from a true course, we have to apply variation and deviation. So remember, compass error is the difference in degrees between true and compass direction or compass and true. Um, and it's a combination of these two factors, variation and deviation. So when we're correcting we're going from compass to true. And when we're uncorrecting, we're going from true to compass. So if you look at my cursors at here, this is a compass rose on a chart. And if you see right here at the top, there is a north star and a zero. This outer compass card or circle or ring with 360 degrees right here I'm circling is true. You can see the inner circle here is magnetic. For our course, we're not going to use that magnetic. So don't ever use this center or this inside ring. Always use the outer ring. If you look in the very center, you'll see variation, V-A-R. It's 10 degrees, 15 minutes west. 
So for purposes of navigation, you can't really measure this 15 minutes. That's just going to tell us, um, you know, it's a little bit off 10 degrees. We're just going to use 10 degrees, which is, um, you know, already, if you look at how close these degrees are apart, um, if you're trying to go 15 minutes, you're going to be in between, you know, two of these small lines here. It's really impossible to measure. So variation, 10 degrees, true, the outer ring. We're going to use this all the time. When I get to deviation, I'm going to look at my boat's deviation table. And you can see this one. Here's the heading and deviation. So if I'm on a heading on my boat of 000, my deviation is going to be 3 degrees west. If I'm on 15 or 015 degrees, 1 west. 030 degrees, 0, 0450, 0, and so on. So the heading is in this first column with the deviation corresponding to the heading in the second column. Then third column, we're going to continue on the headings every 15 degrees. And the fourth column is a deviation for the third column's headings. So let's put this into practice. So we use this little tool here to help us, or formula to help us determine our correcting or uncorrecting, or to help us to go from true to compass or compass to true. All right, so if we put them on, write it down just like this. TVMDC, true variation magnetic comp magnetic deviation compass. So true variation magnetic deviation compass. When I'm going from true to compass, I'm going down. When I'm going down, I'm going to add all my west compass error and subtract any east compass error. When I have a compass course and I want to correct a true, <clears throat> so this example, a friend's on a boat and he runs from one place to another and tells you, hey, that, that compass course between those two points um, was, let's say, 100 degrees. So I'm going to start with a compass. I want to put it on my chart just to draw it out. So when I'm going from compass to true or I'm correcting, I'm going to add east and subtract west. So <clears throat> remember, variation comes from location is found in the center of the compass rows. So right here in the center of the compass rows would be the variation. Deviation comes from the vessel construction and electronics, and it changes with the heading. Here's a sample deviation table. So variation I'm going to get from the compass rows. Deviation I'm going to get from the sample deviation table. Throughout this course, whenever you are dealing with any kind of compass direction or compass bearing, true, com true bearing, true direction, you're going to write TVMDC, an arrow going down plus west, subtract east, an arrow going up plus east, subtract west. It'll help you keep all this straight. All right, so let's do some sample problems. So I have a true course of 221 degrees. I look at my compass rows in the area that I'm at, on the chart and it tells me nine degrees east is my variation. So I'm going down. <clears throat> True. I'm going to apply nine degrees east. I'm going down. So I'm subtracting east. So that means I'm going to be at 212 degrees magnetic. I take 212 degrees magnetic. I look at my deviation table on my boat and it tells me that a deviation for 212 degrees magnetic is two west. So I'm going down still. I'm going to add west. So what's 212 plus 2? Two? 214. Here's a little um, compass card with a, with a diagram of a boat in the middle. And you can see 221 degrees true course with a variation of 9 east gives us 212 degrees on a magnetic course. With a deviation of 2 west gives us 214 degrees on a compass course. So let's do that, a different one. We've got a compass course of 127 degrees. We look at our deviation table, find the closest deviation to 127 degrees for our vessel's heading. We get five east. So we're going up. And what do we do when we go up? We add east. That gives us a magnetic of 132 degrees. We look at our compass rows closest to the area that we're navigating in on our chart, and it gives us a four degrees 
west variation. What do we do with west when we're going up? We're going to subtract it. That gives us 128 degrees true. Traveling at a course of 127 degrees compass, I'll get 132 degrees magnetic with this 5 east deviation that I took off my deviation table. And then with the 4 degrees west variation, I'm going to end up with 128 degrees true course. This is Captain Ross from 3B's Captain School, and this concludes our video on magnetic compass. Please visit our YouTube channel for our other videos.